first of all, we just need to say up front that we're not advocating or promoting gambling, but we can't help but notice that almost everything is being bet on these days, including election outcomes in other places around the world, like the UK, bookmakers will gladly let you place a bet on who you think will be the next UK Prime Minister, as uh, well as who will win Britain's God Talent or who will be win Big Brother, as, lo- as well as who will win the English Premier League. But now Sunbet here in South Africa, they've re- launched a platform uh, when you can place a small wager on the outcome of South Africa's elections. Not only will be president who will get the most votes in terms of percentage of votes, but also who do you think would be the next minister of agriculture? You want to put a wager that Julius Malema will be the next minister of agriculture, land reform, rural development? Uh, Gideon Mann is the chief operating officer on some bit good morning Gideon really appreciate your time and the decision to open up small wages on the outcomes of elections what leads you to this decision hi Lester thanks for having me Uh, we're looking to try to do something fun Um, you know globally as you mentioned uh, it's quite a big market for bookmakers to offer election results in fact the biggest uh, betting event of all time was Trump versus Biden in 2020. And we actually expect globally uh, for bookmakers, 2024 Biden versus Trump rematch will be the biggest ever event, uh, far bigger than the Super Bowl or you know, the Champions League or World Cup bets. Has this ever been offered in South Africa before, the, the betting on the outcome of elections? Um, I, I'm, as far as we know, no. Um, you know, what we've done is, you know, kind of done it in a very fun and lighthearted way. And, you know, based on that, we'll try and see how serious we can become about it as we get more data in. Mm. But uh, so far, you, uh, we've got a couple thousand bets we've just launched. And, yeah, it's quite interesting to see what people are doing. Okay, let's talk about um, the odds on SA, uh, on SA president. Um, let's look at the, the major contenders, Musi Maimani, Gaita McKenzie, Herman Mashaba, Julius Malema, Paul Mashatile, John Stiernes, and Cyril Ramaphosa. Do they uh, mirror what we are seeing in some of the pre-election polls that have been released? Um, so, I think so. I mean, in all the polls that we've seen so far, uh, you know, the ANC is going to be the dominant party. Um, if we have a look at our the couple of thousand uh, bets we've had so far, which is probably a bigger sample than a lot of the election polls. You know, we see Cyril Ramaphosa is a heavy, heavy favorite uh, for re-election as president. Um, in fact, we actually see by volumes, he's very, very popular with our younger ladies who are betting quite heavily for him. Really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at also, there's also betting open for who will be the next Minister of Sport. And with 100 to 1 odds, Rossi Rasmus is also an option in one of the events by Sunbits. Yes. Yeah, so, um, you know, in the office, you know, when we we're being, uh, putting up the serious candidates, uh, a couple people were saying, oh, wouldn't it be great if we had somebody uncontroversial, somebody who's actually brought some glory to South Africa. And some of our... Uh, sports um, operators are, you know, big rugby fans, and for them, you know, they, you know, maybe it's a bit of a reach for a dream, but they were all saying, wouldn't it be wonderful if we had somebody of his ilk uh, as our minister? Uh, I'd rather say, wouldn't it be wonderful, wonderful if you go for the three peat at the World Cup in 2027. So I think you should concentrate exactly. on the spring <laughs> box. But also, you're taking. You're taking bets on whether load shedding will return after the elections. Is it about how many days or what time frame uh, after we go to the polls that load shedding will return? What's the basis for that bet? So I think that's also one of those lighthearted ones that comes out of the office. You know, we've got a lot of people complaining, oh, you know, there's no load shedding at the moment. Um, I mean, it's almost every South African's favorite uh, lunchtime topic. And everyone's going, oh, it's only because of the elections. Um, So we thought, you know what, why don't we throw that in as a bet? Now, the initial thinking on it was, um, 
there possibly would be a coalition government, which means after the elections, there's at least two weeks for government to try and form a cabinet and a coalition. And then within three weeks is actually we're getting to South Africa's, you know, darkest, coldest period. Um, and, you know, it would be very telling if it's really because of political interference that there is or isn't load shedding, uh, or it's just, you know, South Africans have put up so much solar and, you know, made a plan in so many incidences that it's not really political interference. It's just, you know, you know periods of sunshine and solar energy. Um, so I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Uh, Gideon Mann is the CEO of Sunbet. Again, not an endorsement or an advocating or promotion of gambling. Please do so if you do responsibly. But South Africans seeing the light in many things that often get us down. Uh, and this is about placing a bet on the outcome of the 2024 election. Your thoughts?